How you doing? I want to give you a rundown on doing a uh, hub assembly. This on a 02 Chevy Silverado 1500, but it's same for a lot of trucks, a lot of vehicles, cars. Uh, these videos you see where they just unbolt it and it pops right off is a complete crock of shit, especially if it's an 02 and the thing has been on there for 15 years. Uh, I'm going to show you from the assembly and it's just reverse for the disassembly. I had to beat this with a uh, 10 pound sledgehammer heat my uh, knuckle up with a uh, rose tip oxyacetylene torch and let it soak for 24 hours with PB Blaster before I could even get that hub assembly off after all the bolts were removed. Uh, one trick I want to show you before you get in trouble, the, uh, these are the old hub belts. They were so corroded that if I would have tried to take them out with a 16 mil, or even a 15 mil, they would have rounded right out. I wound up getting down to 14 millimeter. I wire brushed them up and then beat a socket on there so I can get a good bite on them, and then I backed them out. So before you go rounding them out and wind up in deep trouble, clean them up and see if you can get a tighter socket on there, all right? What I did here, just to prepare this and save a bunch of headaches for the future, is I used some copper never seize, anti-seize compound on here. I did it on my splines on my CV shaft as well. It'll just make it a lot easier if I have to change a wheel hub a lot. I got a neighbor telling me once you replace wheel hubs, they're never going to be the same. They all go bad quick. That's a crock of shit. What it is is people are buying cheap parts or they're not torquing down the uh, hub assembly to the proper spec. Like this one is 155 foot pounds or I got the newton meters too or 210 newton meters for those of you doing metric. Uh, the hub axle nut is 36 millimeter. The hub bracket is 16 millimeter. The lug nuts and the uh, cover are 22 millimeter. And the brake bracket assembly is an 18 millimeter. Now I've seen videos on YouTube. They have people taking a caliper off. That's an unnecessary step. You're just giving yourself more work to do. All you got to do is either with a screwdriver get in there and depress your uh, caliper or use a C-clamp, depress it and take the uh, brake assembly brackets off and just take the caliper will come off right with it like I have here and just set it on top make sure you don't let it hang on the hose. All right, I'm going to get back to putting this back together. I have this spacer which is in real bad shape but at all the points that it anchors to it's still pretty good shape so I'm going to use it in there. Okay. Uh, this assembly is just a reverse of this, all right? I'm going to use anti-seize on these when I put them in, the hub assembly bolts, because if this does go bad, I want to be able to get it out easy. You don't have to go crazy with it, just a little dab will do. All right, I'm going to pause this and come back when I got it together. Ready? All right, one thing I wanted to tell you, before you try loosening up the uh, hub nuts, the bolts, I mean for the hub assembly, Take your axle spindle nut off and then drive this back in. You can use a puller. I used a punch with a hammer. I got that loose. Then push in as far as you can and then you can fit a socket on these in the back. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to get a socket in there. I used a breaker bar instead of killing myself with double wrenching it. All right. It was just a lot easier. All right. I'm going to throw the hub assembly on now. The spacer on here. I was tempted to just throw this out because it's in such bad shape that it's really deformed the going. I don't even know why this is in here. Maybe it's to keep it from seizing on there, but that didn't work too well because it was definitely seized up. This is going in the garbage. I don't even need that. <laughs> Now I can't find a torque spec for these bolts, so I'm just going to go reasonably tight. Figure maybe around 80 foot-pounds. I don't think it's rocket science, you know? You don't have to go crazy gorilla in them in, but don't put them in too loose either. Make sure you snug them in. If you're using a breaker bar and you just put a reasonable amount of force on it, they're definitely going to be tight enough. All right, these are 16 millimeter. I had to replace the other ones because we were in such bad shape. 
uh, if you want to make things easy for yourself, get a set of wobble extensions. They're great for when you got to get into little tight places like this. This one I'm going to need another iron. Top one I got to use a wrench on. No, I can't get in there with this. Poison. Okay, here we go. Uh, make things easier for yourself as you're going to tighten the uh, bolts for the hub assembly. Cut the wheel all the way to the right or left to get to them. Helps make it easier just to access it and get the CB out of the way. Okay. It's a lot easier to get in here. Get that out of the way. Let's see if I can get you with my wobble extension. That wobble extension lets me get around that CV axle assembly. I'm going to go back and forth and snug these all a little bit and then dog them down after. This one I got to get with a wrench because my ball joint is in the way. And I got my wrench somewhere. I'm going to pause it again because I don't want to torch. Bubba. I'm gonna pause it. Yeah. Here's our faithful dog. She wants to go for a ride. You can tell because she's waiting in the truck. Coco, hey pretty girl. Hi pretty girl. You want to go for a ride? Is that what you're waiting for? I know. I know you do. It's okay. Here's the other little darling. <laughs> Hi honey bunny. Honey bunny. Hey sweetie. Deep in thought. Deep in thought. <laughs> You thought it was easy being a mechanic. Here we go. All right, when you can't get in there with a socket and you're gonna have to use a wrench to get leverage, you can double wrench it, take another wrench, get this, loop it right over here, and then you can use it as a, a lever. Get a hell of a lot more pull. Do it the other angle for loosening. It's like using a breaker bar. And that's how you do that. Now I'm going to cut the wheel again, get the other side, tighten that up. You can pause it again. Okay. Go back. Leap. What? Okay. I'm sorry, I screwed up on the size on the uh, hub. Assembly bolts, they're 15 millimeter. I told you 16s, I think by mistake, they're 15s. I want to make shit worse for you. I'm trying to help. <laughs> <laughs> Late fall in the great northeast, folks. Hi, Coco. Pretty you leaves. Your test drive, Coco. Oh no. What's the matter? I pinched the fucking wire. You son of a bitch. I hope I didn't break it. Okay, I'm gonna pause now. Hey, real world, gonna be honest. Be careful that you do not pinch your EBS wire, your sensor in between it when you're putting it in, because I almost fucked up. <laughs> okay, lesson learned. <laughs> I'm focusing on making this video and I'm not paying as much attention to what I should be doing. He's saying some bad words. What I'm doing here. <laughs>
He said some bad stuff. <laughs> Sorry about my camera action. I'm not very good at it. I gotta get a headgear camera. That's what I need. GoPro. That's what I wanna get. I wanna get a GoPro. Now I'm gonna cut that wheel so I can get that other side easier. Okay, pause. Yeah. Okay. All right. That brake assembly is going to go on. Oh, well, first I got to get my rotor on. That helps, huh? <laughs> I'm going to tighten this uh, spindle nut up last when I'm on the ground. Make sure you don't twist that hose up. This has already been depressed, so it should go back on here. Let's expand it on me again. Which it might have. There we go. It's a hell of a lot easier just to remove the two uh, brake hanger bolts, the bracket bolts, than taking that caliper apart. That makes no sense to me. I don't know why you'd want to do an extra step and measure of work. Doesn't make anything any easier. Just doesn't serve any purpose to me to see pulling the uh, caliber assembly apart. I did put never seize on these, but I'm gonna snug these down pretty damn tight. These are 18 millimeter. When you disassemble in this stuff, if it's an unmold vehicle, if you can get away with using six point sockets, you're better off because you're less likely to round stuff out. Corroded bolt with a 12 point, you might strip it out. Look, she's the Lion King. <laughs> I'm throw this on the breaker bar and just snug it down good. You don't have to go gorilla crazy. It's nice and snug. And that's it. And now our spindle nut. Don't forget your washer. gonna put this on and put my tire on and everything and get it down on the ground torque up my lug nuts they're 140 foot pounds and uh, 155 foot pounds on the uh, spindle nut so this assembly is a reverse first take up your spindle nut drive your drive shaft out your uh, CV shaft 
assembly axle assembly out so you can get behind there with a socket to get those uh, humble assembly nuts. If you have the opportunity, definitely hit it with a PB blaster or liquid wrench the day before. It makes a big difference. And uh, if you have a hard time getting that hum assembly off, don't worry about beating it with a hammer because you're going to replace it anyway. Beat them off. Those spindles are tough, you know. Uh, if you wanted to change the CV axle assembly in this, it would be the same procedure and either remove your upper or lower ball joint and drop your knuckle off. You don't have to completely take it off, just get one of them off and you should be able to swing it out of the way enough to get the axle in or out, all right? I'm gonna pause this, because I'm sweating. Okay, I've got everything reassembled. When you're disassembling these, you're just gonna pry these anchor points down, right here, you got one here, and another one up top here on the uh, hanger for the uh, shock. I put a piece of two by four up on a splash guard so it gave me the ability to get in there. With my hands and whatnot, you're pretty much just about in the blind in there. All right, I had to drill this out with a 3 16 bit because it snapped off. So there are anchor points in the control arm. You can see the one on that side too. It looks like they got one. All right, now I'm gonna throw the wheel back on. trying to talk to anybody like they're an idiot, but I don't know if you know how to sequence you. Talking them down. Oh, and don't forget to take the piece of two by four out. <laughs> Always start your lug nuts by hand so you don't cross thread them. I like never sees. I have never had a wheel come loose or fall off on me yet, so I must be doing something right. I like things to come back apart easily. Especially in New York State, I'm in upstate New York and the road salt is crazy and it corrodes everything like nuts. I recommend one of these is a reporter cable, 20 volt impact gun. It's about a third of the price of the Milwaukee. Doesn't have quite as much torque, but it's been doing the job. Do these in a pattern. Make sure you always go in a cross pattern. I'm not going real snug. Just getting them on there. Then I'm going to torque them in the same pattern. I'm going to take in my uh, 36 millimeter axle nut. What the hell am I doing? Just connecting the battery. I'm just going to run it in a little bit. I am not trying to torque it with this. That is not the proper way to do it. I'm just going to snuff I'm going to drop the car, torque up my lug nuts, and then uh, torque that to 155 foot-pounds. You're done. And then the cap goes on. That you're going to pry off with a screwdriver or a small chisel. Take it apart. And that is the steps to changing a hub assembly or the uh, axle on a 02 Silverado 1500 and many other Yukon and etc. Thank you, guys. Hope Any questions, well who do they email? My email is limitlessprp at gmail.com. And uh, don't be afraid to ask questions. And I hope things work out for you guys. And don't forget to use a PB blaster. That stuff works. Take care. Oh, and don't think I'm not safety conscious. I forgot to even mention this because it's such habit with me. I want to show you this. I didn't have this jacked up just on that jack. I've got a jack stand under my control arm and another one to my frame. I wasn't even just trusting the one jack stand on the control arm. Do not depend on a jack. Use jack stands. Work safe, work smart, and don't kill yourself. Take care. Please subscribe and like. Bye-bye.